are you doing? Welcome to Springs Kids Online once again. So, today, what are we doing? What are we doing, my Shane? Well, we're doing a few things. We've got Fun Zone, we've got Story, we've got Creativity. And we also might do other stuff, who knows? So, today, you have the joy of me and Sarah. I hope you enjoy it. Before we start, let's quickly pray. Uh, Lord God, I pray that we'll have a great week, that you'll have kept, uh, kept us safe. God, we pray over uh, anybody today who didn't have a good week, who at the moment isn't feeling happy or, or feeling like close to you or, or knowing you. Lord, I pray that you will pour your spirit out, your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we want to invite you into the rooms where we are today, that you will speak into our lives, that we will hear you and that we will live for you today. I want to pray that as we look at this story of Deborah, that you will speak through it. Lord, that you will help us to hear your voice and share what you're saying with the people around us. Amen. Buzzing for today, guys. I'm absolutely buzzing and so is Edith. Oh, she licked my face. Welcome to News of the Week. News of the Week. News of the Week. What's your News of the Week, Sarah? Um. Well, see, she's cleaned up. She's cleaned up. Sure, really. Uh, we went for a nice walk this morning with Edie and your mum and we did. stepdad over Himley. Mine is I went for a bike ride yesterday with my little brother. Did you? Yes. I didn't know that. And I rode your bike. What's yours, guys? Send it in. See you then. Bye. What's up? Good day and welcome to Fun Zone. So for today's Fun Zone, it's going to be me versus Sarah. I want you two to get involved as well. Today's is either headstand challenge or handstand challenge, whichever one you're the better at. So essentially, you get three attempts at either doing a headstand or a handstand versus somewhere else, and whoever holds them the longest. Uh, it's just out of all three, whichever one of the three is the longest you can take. Uh, and then whoever holds it the longest wins. Let's see how me and Sarah get on. Kids. So we're now at the bit where we're going to explore what does that story mean for me and for you. So over the last few weeks, we've been looking at women uh, and ladies of the Bible, people who knew and loved Jesus passionately and were willing to give up their entire life to follow him because God uses everyone. There is nothing that separates us from being able to be used from God if we are willing to. So we've looked at Sarah and we've looked at how her trust and her faith in God meant she was willing to, to leave her home entirely with her husband and go where God was calling her to be. We've looked at Rahab and that is an incredible story as well of boldness where she was quite scared yet uh, actually she also stood up and said, you know what, spies come here, come here, let me hide you. And she was so bold that actually that meant she was saved. And we've also looked at Ruth. And actually Ruth is all about faithfulness. And how her faithfulness to God also linked into her faithfulness to people. And that meant that God was with her. He blessed her and took care of her. And today we're looking at a lady called Deborah. So what's the story of Deborah all about? Hopefully you've just watched that video. But what I want to look at today or what I want to speak over you and encourage in your life is this that you are a leader that you have the opportunity with your friends to lead them uh, 
in every situation that you influence uh, or influence their life that you can speak into their life for both good and bad but i also want to encourage you in this section deborah was a leader she led she she told people uh, not told people what to do in a rude way but shared what uh, what god was saying to her so she led people and said we we should do this we should go there actually god's going to be with us but she was also what in that video said a prophet somebody who heard from god and shared what god was saying so i want to encourage us to do this today that just like deborah i want us to lead our friends not in a way where it's do what i want but in a way which is genuine genuinely loving where we we want the best for them and when we see things and see them maybe saying things that aren't good for them or or mean to other people. I want to encourage us to lead them in a way which is which is loving, which is caring and, and kind. But also, I want us not just to do that. I want to encourage us today. I want parents. I want to encourage you to do this as well. I want to encourage you right now to pause this video and pray that God will give you a gift where you can hear His voice, where you can hear Him audibly you can sense what he's saying to you so that this week as you go into your school as you meet with your friends that you will hear what God is saying to you to share with them that God will speak to you and that you'll be able to share what God wants to share with them because you are somebody who influences and leads in their life you speak into that and I want to encourage that you can share about God with them but I want to encourage that you will share what God wants to say. Like Deborah did, I want to pray that, that you will be both a leader to your friends, but also somebody who is a prophet, who can speak, hear what God's saying and speak that out over your friends. And I pray that they'll listen as well. But thank you for today. Take care, guys. time what are we up to you may be saying i wonder well to today's story was about a woman called deborah and she heard from god and she shared what god was saying and the story was all about actually how you guys are leaders with your friends and actually we have to hear from god to see what is he saying to uh, for us to share with our friends therefore along that line i thought let's not do a craft let's do a game hey! so this is called the modern day hide and seek or it's called plain hide and seek by yourself. Wow. I prefer modern day hide and seek. Give us our dog is coring to be trying to get some things. One second. Tipping out our own dog box of toys. Making a racket. Now I've got the box. So, what do you need for this game, Sarah? So, you're going to need your parents and their phones. So, parents, you will have to be there. So, what do they do once they've got so a parent and What a they're going to do is their parent is going to set a timer on their phone for like one minute. I don't know, Probably about go for a minute, minute yeah. They're then going to hide that phone without the kids knowing, you kids knowing where it's been hidden. So the kids, close your ears and your eyes and your mouth. And you then have to wait for the timer to go off and then listen out for it. Just like you're going to listen out for God. And then you've got to run and first one to find it if you're playing it in a pair. Or just Ooh. see how quick you can find it. So, enjoy Good and have a great week. And also, happy birthday, Naomi. Happy birthday! Fairly well!